today I'm doing a get ready with me tip um, video which comes tonight and I did my nails yesterday you can see them better when they have like flash on but they're a bit longer than I thought they were and I'm going to get my hair done in about an hour so I'm just brushing them in now Uh, I'm going to do like a half up, half down bun type thing and um, there's going to be some braids. And then I've got these like hair pins that I might put in there. Uh, I don't know if you can tell them to me or not. That's some strong stuff. So my dress is this um like raspberry color. So that's what I'm going for. <clears throat> so I've already put like sunscreen and stuff on. But now we get to do the makeup. I love doing makeup. Always have, always will. So I'm gonna start with some foundation and we're gonna um i use the maybelline new york superstay active wear um just oh it popped just because it's really pretty and i like it and then sorry my vanity is like just crowded with a bunch of stuff I'm just gonna take this. This I just kind of like, I use a brush to spread it around my face. And then I'm just gonna use a beauty blender to blend it out a bit more. Because this isn't good. But this is just a bit easier to apply than like regular I think than like applying it with a BB blender I've just never liked doing that but at the B at the school at 5 and it's like 3 um 40 350 so I have a little bit over an hour to get ready because I live like in a couple minutes from the school and this isn't gonna take me that long or it shouldn't at least so now I'm gonna use <clears throat> my elf hydrating camo concealer under my eye and then just anywhere where I see like imperfections and stuff okay enough talk okay <clears throat> and now I'm going to use this Professional Cosmetics Blush Hour, the liquid blush. I'm just gonna kind of swipe it on. And then I like to put a little bit on my nose as well, cause I just like the sunburnt look. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to use this airspin powder. All my hose are snapping me. I'm going to turn my ringer on and keep it on. So the guy that is taking me knows I have hose. Because, um, 
I'm not interested in dating him and I don't want it to seem that way. Because I really, I don't want to lead him on. Because he really is a sweet boy. I'm just, I don't know, I just don't, I've never seen him like that. So I'm going to keep it on. And I'll probably get on it and snap him back periodically throughout the night. Again, so he knows that this isn't happening. I just spilled all of this all over me. This is why we don't talk with our hands when we have something in our hands. Because that happens. It's fine. I'm not even going to wear this. That would be kind of weird. Next, I'm going to use this shade for contour or bronzer. I put on, that's probably a little bit mutt, but I try to blend it pretty good. And then I like to put a little bit on my forehead because I'm a little bit insecure about my forehead. Because people used to say I had like a big forehead. Even though I really don't have that big of a forehead, I just like to contour it and then put my, some of my hair in front. And in my jawline because I like a nice and chiseled jawline. <clears throat> so now I'm going to use this like bright pink and I'm going to mix it with this one as well. Just a little bit and then kind of just tap that on my cheeks. And now I'm going to use this highlighter and then we're going to highlight to the gods. We are going to shimmer and shine and then on the nose. I use like the James Charles trick where you put it like at the tip of your nose and then at the bridge. Okay. <clears throat> Last thing for the face is the brows. I'm just going to brush them like this. And then I have to find my brow gel. And then a mirror so I can make sure I don't mess this up. Mirror. Okay. So I just take my brow gel. I don't do too much with my brows. But I just do a little bit at the tip, a little bit in the middle, and then a little bit at the end. And then I just blend it out like this. And then I do the same <clears throat> to the other side. So now I'm going to take a little bit of break because this is a lot. And I'm going to snap my hose back and then I'll be back. <laughs> um, anyway, so now we are going to um, do my eyes and I'm going to use like mm, three different palettes. I'm going to use this Beauty Bakery Proof is the Puddin' Eyeshadow Palette. And this is what it looks like. We're not going to use all these colors. I think we're mainly just going to use this one. And then mainly, or maybe this one, or no, that one's sparkly. Or this one, I don't know. And then we're going to use the Melissa Michelle Bring on the Glam Eyeshadow Palette. And we're gonna use like all of these like pinky, purpley plum colors. And then we're gonna use the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Sorry. And in this one, we're gonna use this one and then the sparkles as well. So, oh, I should. <laughs> 
put on a candle while I do this. Because I, I do like to um, heat up my mascara and my um, eyelash curler. Because it just works better when it's a little bit... <gasps> It just popped. Oh, it's because there's like hair in it. Okay. Um, alright. So I'm gonna take the this palette, the pudding palette, and I'm gonna use rice pudding as just like a base shade, pretty much. Just to make sure that everything is even. Yeah, just everything is even. And there's no mess. Um, okay. Where's my other brush? Here it is. Um, now I'm going to use the Naked palette and I'm going to use Limit which is right here and this is just going to be like my base like crease shade um like a transition shade basically because I am going to go and put in some colors and some sparkles and the whole nine yards so now we are mainly going to be using the Melissa palette okay so I'm gonna start off with 100% because it's this light like purpley shade and I'm just going to put that on my outer V. And then we're going to darken it up later a little bit. And this is going to be like a crease shade. All right. And now I'm going to take, I'm going to take Florida. And then I'm just going to darken up that outer V a tiny bit to make my eye look a little bit bigger than it actually is but we're gonna make sure that looks good though and now we are gonna take this pretty much clean like angled brush and then we're just gonna blend all the shades together so they work in harmony I think that looks pretty good. Um, there is this one really pretty pinky shade that's in this Revolution Makeup Revolution um, London palette. Uh, no, I don't like it when palettes don't have names. Like the eyeshadows don't have names because then I'm just like, yeah, you have to use this one. It's this one right here. Oh, I just stuck my entire nail on it and now there's a line. Anyway. So I am going to dip into that and then just kind of layer it on my crease. Just a tiny little bit. So there's that pop of pink in there. I should blend that out. Okay. I think we're ready for the glitter. Um, I'm also going to use this glitter palette from Le Love Betsy from Betsy Johnson. I also got this from a girl I used to work for. Um, okay. So I just. Okay. Um, I'm just 
this pink shade and this one right here. And then I'm also going to use her eyeliner just to put on her glitter liner. And then I'm just going to paint that on my lip. There's a little chunky bit in it. Let me try to get that chunky bit out. Okay, there we go. I got it out. Get the two little ones out. And then I'm gonna, and this guarantees it'll stay the whole night because it's glitter liner, like it's eyeliner. So, yeah. All right. So now it's time for the lashes. Well, we're gonna let this dry for a minute, and then we'll do the lashes. So now it's pretty much dry. Um, the last step for my eyeshadow is I just take this like white shimmery and then put it in my inner corner. I need to clean, I need to go in and like, um, for all my palettes I have a mirror and clean their mirrors because... Okay. Yeah. So I think I did this like eyelash trick in my last get ready with me, but I just take like an eyebrow brush thing and I comb out my lashes. It prevents um like a bunch of clumps and then I take my eyelash curler and then my candle and hold it over the flame for a couple seconds until it gets warm not hot warm okay that's probably a little bit too warm and then I go I tilt it up one, two, three, four, and tilt it back down one, two, three, four. And then you get really pretty curled lashes. I take my um mascara, which is wet and mild mega volume. I don't think I'm gonna put on lashes because I don't really want to. And my friend might need to help me put them on, Bailey. Maybe I should do a video with Bailey one day. Okay, ooh, that is hot, bro. That's hot. She's steamy. Okay. And then we just blink. Fell into my eyes. Like, you see? You don't really need like falsies or anything when you do that. And now we just do a little bit on the bottom, but not too much. Okay, there we go. And now time for lips. Take it off. Lips are very easy. The fix. Because really, you just lick it off. Okay. And now we're going to do this. It's going to be kind of hard. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just going to put my jewelry and the dress on and then I'll show you and then I've got to go.